Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to use the search form builder widget for Elementor to recreate the main demo search form. This is the search form and next I will show the steps that you need to take to create a similar search in any page created with Elementor. This page was created with Elementor and the first step is to click edit with Elementor. I will add the search form builder widget in the hero section that was also created with Elementor. So I will look for the widget. This is the one with drag and drop. I will add it in the page. And now I will start setting the search form. I will start with the content section. First, I will set tabs. I will enable the option. From this drop down, you can select the category elements that you can select to show as tabs. I will leave type and here I will select categories. Once the tabs are selected, you will need to update the change made and refresh the page. Now I will select the search again and move further to the form field settings. Here you will be able to set the fields that will show under each tab. You will have by default property categories and property city. I will leave them both, just that here I will select the tab where the field will show. For property city I will change the form field label. I will change the column width and select the tab where the field will show. I will add two more fields for invest category. I will add areas. I will add the field label and add the for field placeholder. I will change the column width value and select the category for the tab. I will add the last field for invest tab. It will be rooms. I will change compare term. I will set it to greater. I will add the for field label and the field placeholder. I will also change the column width and select the top. I am done with the fields for invest. Next, I will set the fields for rentals. I will add categories. I will add the form field label and placeholder. I will change the width and select rentals as top. I will add the second field, which will be minimum size. I will change the compare term. I will add the label and the field placeholder. I will change the column width and select the tab. For the third field, I will add the property lot size field. This is the one. I will change the term. I will add the field label and the field placeholder. I will change the width and the tab and I will add the last field for rentals tab. Here I will add property status. This is the one. I will add the field label and the placeholder. We'll change column width and the top. I am now done with the fields for rentals as well. And next I will add the fields for sales category. I will start with categories. I will add the field label, the field placeholder. I will change the column width and select the top. I will add the second field which will be city. I will add the field label and the field placeholder. I will set the column width and the category for tab and for the last field I will add price. I will add a label and a placeholder. Also I will this price field will be a price slider and I will set the minimum and maximum price range. I will set the column width to 40% and select the tab where the field will show. I am done with the sales field as well. I have set up all fields for the search. Next you will have these options. The first one is to show labels in the search. If you set it to now the labels will not show. I will leave it to show. Next you will have show amenities and features which will be the more search option button that I will disable and I will disable the search title as well. And next I will make settings for the submit button. I will change the button text. I will change the button width and here you have the option to set an icon for the button. You can set one from Fontasm or upload an SVG one. I will look for an icon from Fontasm. I will select this one. I am done with the settings from content section. Next I will go to style section. Here I will make settings for the search design. I will change the row gap. I will change the label margin bottom. I will change the label text color. I will change 
typography. Next I will set the background color. I will set the form border radius value. I will go to box shadow. Here I will change the value for blur. Next I will make settings for tabs design. I will change alignment. I will change typography. I will change the font weight. Now I will set the tabs colors. I will change the active tab font color. I will set the minimum width. I will change the margin values. I will set the values for padding. I will set the tab items border radius value. I will set tab item border width. I will add the tab content padding. I will also set the tab content border radius value. And next I will manage the settings for the fields design. I will change the fields text color. I will change typography. I will change font size. I will also check the drop down typography. I will change the font size here as well. Here you can set the field background color. Here you can set the colors for the slider, the slider that I added in sales. Next I will make settings for the search button design. I will leave the option to use hover effect enabled. I will make settings for normal state. I will change the color of the icon. I will change the border type. I will add the width of the border. I will set the color. I will change the text padding value. I will add the icon size and the icon size padding. Now I will make settings for hover state. I will change the color for the icon and I will leave the rest of the settings as they are. I am also done with the design settings. Next, from advanced, you can manage the search position over the header. I will add here margins and to change the position, I will set position absolute. I will change the offset value for the horizontal orientation and the value for the vertical orientation. I am done with the settings for the search form. I will save the changes I made. Now I will go on front end. I will refresh the page. And this is the search that I just created. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.